Good morning. Welcome to Christ the King's morning prayer service. This is Tuesday, June 25th. The opening sentence is from Psalm 19, verse 14. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be always acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. The confession of sin on page 12. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Together we say, Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. We have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O oh Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare those who confess their faults. Restore those who are penitent, according to your promises, declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant the most merciful Father for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of your holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant you absolution and remission of all your sins. True repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The Venite. We say together, O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and sure ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the depths of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. We'll now have these psalm readings. The psalms appointed for today are Psalm 132 and 133. 132 begins on page 447. We'll read the psalm responsively by whole verse. Lord, remember David and all his tribulations. How he swore unto the Lord and vowed a vow unto the almighty God of Jacob. I will not come within the tabernacle of my house, nor climb up into my bed. I will not allow my eyes to sleep, nor my eyelids to slumber, neither the temples of my head to take any rest. Until I find a place for the temple of the Lord, a habitation for the mighty God of Jacob. Lo, we heard of the ark at Ephrathoth and found it in the wood. We will go to, into his tabernacle and fall low on our knees before his footstool. Arise, O Lord, into your resting place, you and the ark of your strength. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints sing with joy. For your servant David's sake, turn not away the presence of your anointed. The Lord has made a faithful oath unto David, and he shall not shrink from it. Of the fruit of your body shall I set upon your throne. If your children will keep my covenant and my testimonies that I shall teach them, their children also shall sit upon your throne forevermore. For the Lord has chosen Zion for himself. He has longed for her to be his habitation. This shall be my rest forever. Here will I dwell, for I have a delight therein. I will bless her provisions with increase and will satisfy her poor with bread. I will clothe her priests with salvation, and her saints shall rejoice and sing. 
There shall I make the horn of David flourish. I have prepared a lantern for my anointed. As for my as for his enemies, I shall clothe them with shame. But upon his head shall his crown flourish. We continue with Psalm 133. Behold how good and joyful a thing it is when brethren dwell together in unity. It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, and went down to the edges of his clothing. Like the dew of Hermon, which falls upon the hills of Zion. For there the Lord promised his blessing, even life forevermore. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Our reading this morning is a continuation of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 4, beginning with the first verse. Finally then, brothers, we ask and urge you in the Lord Jesus, that as you received from us how you ought to walk and to please God, just as you are doing, that you do so more and more. For you know what instructions we gave you through the Lord Jesus. For this is the will of God, your sanctification, that you abstain from sexual immorality, that each one of you know how to control his own body in holiness and honor, and not in the passion of lust like the Gentiles who do not know God, that no one transgress and wrong his brother in this matter, because the Lord is an avenger in all these things, as we told you beforehand and solemnly warned you. For God has not called us for impurity, but in holiness. Therefore, whoever disregards this, disregards not man, but God, who gives his Holy Spirit to you. Now concerning brotherly love, you have no need for anyone to write to you, for you yourselves have been taught by God to love one another. For that indeed is what you are doing to all the brothers throughout Macedonia. But we urge you, brothers, to do this more and more, and to aspire to live quietly, and to mind your own affairs, and to work with your hands, as we instructed you, so that you may walk properly before outsiders and be dependent on no one. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The canticle this morning is the Magna et Mirabilia, canticle number one, found on page 79. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O king of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen and the Apostles' Creed on page 20. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. 
Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us. And grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us. And lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people sing with joy. O Lord, save your people. And bless your inheritance. Give peace in your time, O Lord. And defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And take not your Holy Spirit from us. The Collect of the Day. Lord of all power and might, the author and giver of all good things, graft in our hearts the love of your name. Increase in us true religion. Nourish us with all goodness and bring forth in us the fruit of good works. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And have a time now for intercessory prayer. And the focus this morning is on Christ the King, our vestry, and the long-term projects and aspirations of our church. Almighty God, Holy Father, we praise you and bless you and worship you. We thank you for your many uh, blessings to us, and we ask that you would continue to bless our church, give our vestry wisdom, uh, and our priests' wisdom as they make important decisions for our church and move us forward according to your will. Heavenly Father, we give thanks that we were able to get the air conditioner for the, the parish hall and uh, Sunday school uh, room fixed yesterday or at least begun to be fixed, that um, there is a repair happening for the office air conditioner. And Lord, we ask for your guidance in how to proceed and how fast to proceed and just where to go with the need for the air conditioner in the nave and the rest of the church. You are God and we are not. And so we need to learn to be quiet and listen for you. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. <clears throat> we do thank you for, as I say almost every day, for all the many extraordinary, breathtaking blessings you have poured over us as a congregation, uh, including this building where we gather to pray with and for each other. And it is, um, it's like being a homeowner. Things happen uh, that have to be fixed. You're never happy about it, but you just have to um, take care of it and move on and remember to be thankful that we have a home to gather in, um, a roof over our heads. And so we thank you, Lord. Above all, we thank you for our home, our church home. And we ask that you guide us, uh, that you help us put together our to-do list, what to do number one, number two, and number three. Um, we ask you to remind us to hold each other up in prayer each day, to hold our priests and deacon up in prayer each day. Uh, and today we ask you to remind us to hold uh, a sister up in prayer who's going into surgery and to continue to hold those up in prayer who are healing. Um, to hold sisters up in prayer who have family members who are quite ill. There is always a lot to be in prayer about uh, in any church family, and we are there too, Lord, as you know. Um, remind us daily to be on our knees to pray for each other and to you, that you will guide us and show us the things that are really most important, to hold Father Pete and his family up in prayer, 
thankful that uh, Beth could make a big trip and come home again safely uh, to hold Father Kyle up in prayer, that he went in and came out of surgery last week on an emergent basis and was back with us <laughs> Sunday morning to hold Deacon Bill up in prayer, especially today. You show us each day that we have things to be thankful for if we would just open our eyes and look around. And for that, we are thankful, Lord. Now we conclude our prayer time with a prayer of St. John Christostom. Yes. Almighty God, you've given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will grant the requests. Fulfill now, O oh Lord, mm -hmm. our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen.